Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the short cycling boilers. The boilers you sold us aren't working, Frank said angrily into the phone. Frank installed three of my modular boilers on the job site, and he fought me the entire time. He told me the way the manufacturer and I said to pipe them is stupid and will never work. The manufacturer suggested piping the boilers using primary secondary loops. Frank, what is the temperature of the boilers? I asked, hoping he was still on the job. 180 degrees, but the building is 60 degrees, he said. So the boilers are working, I asked. Yes, but the building is cold. They want it fixed, he said. Trying to add levity to calm the contractor, I said, ah, the Goldilocks syndrome. What, he asked. Remember the Goldilocks story? One bowl was too hot, one was too cold, and one was just right. Just get out here right away, he said. I assume the pump is running, I asked, and immediately regretted saying it. That sent Frank into a tirade about how he had been installing boilers since before I was born. I will be right there, I said. I thought about the issue and started troubleshooting the problem as I drove to the building. The boilers were warm, but the building was cool. When I got there, I was sure a valve was closed or the system was airbound. Both theories were wrong. After tracing the piping and finding no closed valves, I went to the far radiators and bled them. No air, only water, meaning they were not airbound. Back in the boiler room, I noted the the pressure differential across the pump. It was running. Sometimes sketching the piping helps me troubleshoot a system. While doing so, I smiled as I saw the issue. The boilers were piped backward. The discharge of each boiler was upstream of the inlet. The boiler would pull the heated water from the main system loop and cycle off on an operating temperature control after only a few minutes. I explained to the contractor what happened, and he said, I piped them like you told me. I pulled up a copy of the piping diagram and showed him the boilers were piped backward. He looked it over and said, this better work? It will, I assured him. The contractor decided to only repipe one boiler to see if it worked, and it did. What is that called again, he asked. It's called primary secondary. It allows the idle boiler to be isolated for better efficiency, I explained. I like piping the boilers the old way, he said. He repiped the other two boilers and the building heated all winter long with no issues. The lesson I learned that day was not to try troubleshooting a system in my head on the way to a job site. Rather, look at the system with no preconceived ideas. If you would like to contact me, I have my contact information below. This includes my cell and the two websites that I publish. This is all the books I've written so far. I have 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon.com. I write articles for several trade publications, and they are online as well. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective. And I hope to see you on the next case.